All right, so our next guest on the Rugby League Hottest 100, this fella, he's played for Australia. He has played for New South Wales. He's played in grand finals. He's punched on with Justin Hodges. And now he's part of the Rugby League Hottest 100, the first one ever. Eric Groth Jr., thank you very much for your time, mate. Welcome to the show. Thanks very much for having me. It's an absolute honour. <laughs> well, hopefully we can get you on every year, mate. And um, I, what's I, the show? What's what is it? What it, show is it? It's Rugby League Hottest One Hundred. So it's the first year we're doing it, and we've we've scoured with the internet for a hundred songs, and they've all got to, they've all got to be related to footy, like a, a direct link. So we're talking, we're talking Dennis Carnahan. We're we're talking Eric Groth Junior. Eric Groth Senior. Um, we've we've found stuff from everywhere, mate. Um, Jason Martin. I can't find it. I, I and I've put I've put word out on the internet. It's um, take us to the top. I, I, yeah, take us to the top. That's right. I remember the film clip it was um, real, real, very deep, very deep song. He must have been in a very, very profound mood when he wrote that one. I, I, someone told me the other day that um, he's brought out a song recently. I I, I couldn't find it as well. Something about bongs and beers and something like that. So he must be doing well, Jason Martin. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> if you listen out there, sounds Jace. Like my, uh, sounds like my retirement. <laughs> All right, so first, I've got, a, I've got a quick question for you. Um, yep. When you were a kid, mate, now, obviously, you got brought up in not just a footballing family, a um, very famous footballing family, but also a very talented musical family. When you were growing up in your teens and then into your first grade career, and I remember there was a bit of, um, uh, there was a bit of media stuff back when you were uh, meant to make your origin debut the first time, and I think from memory, there was a rugby league week story and you had a guitar on your arm. Did you think of yourself as a footballer musician or a musician footballer? When you were younger, uh, well, what, what did you want to be? I, I, I think I, I like music more. I'm pretty yeah. sure. I, I, yeah, my first kind of memory and yeah, from being real little was was always music. And mm. Dad and I never really talked about footy, so it was it was always mainly mainly music. We used to, well, I used to watch all the video hits and whatever it was back then. Some rage was still around back then, and and I was a drummer when I was little. I got a drum kit from when I was four years old. And, Beautiful. Um, yeah, it was always about music, and 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 it shows, mate. It, 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 and that's the next thing I was going to come to. Um, your is that, is that our shit? I was at footy. No, 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 mate. Listen, <laughs> when I was a kid, I, w- I would have been eleven or twelve, and I remember my dad took me to watch Magpies at Parramatta at Campbelltown Stadium, and you would have been eighteen, and you rolled yep. us with four tries in your second game ever, and. It was just thanks, mate. It was like Magpies. I only scored one try. I remember that game. No, that you was, scored um... three or four. Was I was it first grade? Campbelltown Stadium, and you beat us like sixty six six or something. It was my second game. I scored one try off the scrum. We won like sixty something to ten. I remember that game because it was at Campbelltown. That's yes. where I'm from. So that's right. I, yeah. Um, I um, yeah. No, it was only one try off the scrum. But I'll, that's all right. We can run with the four. You, <laughs> edit, edit that out. Yeah, you mentioned Campbelltown too, mate. It's funny. I've got a couple of stories for you, real quick. One of them is I, I don't know if your brother Daniel, isn't it? He, yeah, Brooks, yep, definitely. Yep. Now, he, many years ago, he played for the Norellan Jets, and I just happened to play playing footy with the, at the club at the same time. And I was on the field the day down at Goulburn when he broke his neck or he fractured his neck and didn't know about it for a few days. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty scary, man. I was in Origin Camp, actually, in 06. And yep. that's, uh, I got a, the girl I'd um, been on a, actually a couple of dates with um, <laughs> a couple of months earlier. It's not PG, she mate. You can, you can who, give details. It's all right. Yeah, she was a lady or the girl who was doing the the scans, and she texted me and said, "Hey, you you know your brother's broken his neck." And yeah. I was like, "What? This is, what kind of a sick joke is this?" So I rang her and then find it found he didn't want to tell me because I was in Origin camp preparing for Origin one. It was. Yep. Yep. Um And yeah, and that's what I, I walked into the spinal unit in Ramwick Hospital, and there he was. It was very, very uh, scary experience, definitely, mate. He was very lucky, actually. Very, very close to, yeah, cutting the spinal cord, but he was lucky enough that he can, in his able-bodied today. Yeah, absolutely. And he's he features in a couple of these songs, um, which are your entrance into the Rugby League Hottest 100, which is just, I know there's millions of listeners out there today, right now listening to the show, but I, I, I took a deeper look at these these songs from the Matty John show, mate. These these stand up. These have stood the test of time. That. A lot of well, these. It's about time I got a little bit of respect for them. Actually. That's it, That's mate. I'm telling you, like, they, they, there's some quality stuff here. There is, isn't there? What uh, What was your favourite in particular? Oh, mate, I, I don't want to say who's your daddy because your dad actually um, ranks higher in the hottest 100. Or oh, where's your daddy? Where's yeah, your daddy's yeah. a good one. Um, and the other one, the every every man, every man's yeah, a cracker as well. Actually, I'm glad you said those two. The yeah. other, the rest of the were covers, and those two are my originals. Um, I put a lot of. Uh, 
passion and effort into those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good fun, mate. I um, I actually got a shock because I, I was just making it like Maddie needed some content for a mm. segment or whatever, so I was making that stuff. And I didn't really think too much of it. I said, oh, people are going to stick on a dickhead. I remember put, when it play, when it aired the next day, I didn't want to go, I had to go up the server. I didn't want to walk in because the bloke was a footy fan. I knew he would have watched it and said, I'll shit myself. And then, mate, the, the reaction I got from kids, the kids loved it. Yeah. The kids all come up and going, where's your daddy? Where's your daddy? And fooey in your thongs and all that stuff. I was like, far right? And, it's like a little bit wiggle esque, you know, uh, just minus all the dollars. But I, I, uh, it was good fun. It was good fun doing it, mate. I wish it, uh, wish it went on a little bit longer. It only lasted a season, that show. Well, actually, well, the rugby league Horace One Hundred. I mean, we're going to try to do this every year. So unless something strange happens in the next twelve months, you're going to have some entries in here for quite some time. And it might even bring them back. You might even have a best of CD coming out of this. Well, there you go. I appreciate this could be a resurgence in my um, in my piss take musical career, mate. Uh, which actually, all of it was a bit of a piss take when you think about it. Well, look, I'll, I'll give you. The, I, I can't give too much away, but I, I will let you know that you have more entries into the rugby league hottest one hundred than your dad. But your dad, dad has uh, two entries. One of them's with John English, which is a, a Parramatta theme. Yep. And the other is a song called "The Letter" from a very very old. Rugby League CD, I think it was called Footy Favourites. Yep, yep. I've got that. Well, Dad's got that album somewhere tucked away. Uh, the LP. That's a um, that's a cracker. Yeah, that's a that's. But I'll a... tell you what's good: the cartoon drawing of him on the front. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's doing the Sharon Stone from Basic Instinct. I'm glad oh, it's a cartoon. There's definitely, there's definitely something missing there <laughs> if, uh, in that photo, in that picture. Eric, thank you very much for your time, mate. Um, on the Rugby no League Horus 100, mate. and I'm sure we'll well hopefully we can do it again in 12 months' time. And uh, with a bit of um, social media and some trending, we might even get your songs a little bit higher for 2021. Mate, uh, we can only hope. Thanks very much, mate. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Eric Grath Jr. on the Rugby League Hottest 100.